Female permanent birth control, or sterilization, or cutting or tying your tubes. Cutting or tying tubes. Common names for female permanent birth control that involves cutting or tying tubes are surgical sterilization and bilateral tubal ligation. How it works. This procedure blocks your tubes to prevent eggs from being fertilized by sperm and creating a pregnancy. The most commonly used technique for permanent birth control is cutting or tying tubes, wherein the fallopian tubes are blocked by cutting and tying part of the tube, blocking the tubes with clips or rings or a sutured loop of the tube, or removing the entire tube on both sides of the uterus. Anesthesia is needed for the surgery. The procedure can be done either by laparoscopy or by open surgery using a slightly bigger incision. The second method is used immediately after delivery. Cutting or tying tubes. Effectiveness. Cutting or tying tubes is a very effective technique since with perfect or typical use, fewer than one out of every hundred women undergoing this procedure will unintentionally get pregnant. Advantages of cutting or tying tubes are as follows. This procedure is highly effective and almost permanent since the risk of pregnancy after sterilization is 0.5%. Essentially, you have the procedure done once and then can forget about it. Also, there is no need to remember to take daily pills anymore. Disadvantages to this procedure are possible complications of surgery such as bleeding, infection, and possible complications due to anesthesia. Also, in the rare case that you get pregnant, the risk of having the pregnancy in your tubes is higher. Blocking tubes. Another form of female permanent birth control is blocking tubes. A common name for this procedure is Escher, a non-surgical technique of permanent birth control. How it works. Escher is made of two small metal coils wrapped around a mesh of polyethylene fibers. When placed in the tubes by a trained doctor, the coils expand and hold the device in place. Once placed in the tubes, these coils cause scar tissue to grow that blocks the tubes. Blocking tubes. How to use. A trained doctor can place Escher in about 15 minutes. Your doctor will give you an injection in the cervix to numb the area before the procedure. The entire procedure can be done through the vagina and does not require a surgical incision. The fallopian tubes are reached through the vagina using a scope with a camera, called a hysteroscope. Your doctor may do an x-ray of the uterus and tubes using a dye to verify the tubes are blocked about three to six months after the procedure since it takes approximately that long for the tubes to be completely blocked. Effectiveness. Escher is a very effective and permanent birth control method. With perfect and typical use, fewer than 1 in 100 women may unintentionally get pregnant after this procedure. Blocking tubes. The advantages to Escher are as follows. This procedure is highly effective and almost permanent, has an extremely low failure rate, does not require surgery, and is a one-time procedure, with no ongoing cost to maintain. Disadvantages are that Escher should be placed only by trained physicians, the coils can sometimes move out of place, it takes several months for the tubes to become completely blocked and for Escher to be fully effective, and Escher does not protect from sexually transmitted infections or HIV. Female Permanent Birth Control Common myths about female permanent birth control include the belief that tying or blocking your tubes involves removal of the uterus, tubes, and ovaries. However, during sterilization, the uterus and ovaries are left in place. Only the fallopian tubes are cut or blocked. Some also believe that tying or blocking your tubes can cause menopause, but as long as you have your uterus and ovaries, tying or blocking your tubes will not cause menopause. It is also a myth that female permanent birth control can affect sexual desire or sexual function, while in reality no such effect has been found in studies. Finally, others feel that these methods can cause heavy periods. In fact, studies have found no major changes in menstrual bleeding patterns after permanent birth control procedures.